So now we're at, almost at the Belize border in a town called Bacalar. And this is the room we're staying in. We're staying kind of on the outskirts of Bacalar on the northern side. And this room's really nice. It's simple and pretty modern actually for this room, for this area. And this is what our top balcony looks like. Yo, little puppy friend. Hi. Two of them. <laughs> you two dogs sleeping here. So this is the street we're staying on. And there's only one hotel on this street where we're staying. So yeah, it's definitely in the like local area, which is cool. Really cool plumerias, really cool plants growing everywhere. And you get the vendors, like if you live here, they drive their carts by selling fruits or vegetables if you need it to. We stopped at a nice fruit market last night. There's a cat right here. That's <laughs> good. There's a lot of barbecue chicken around here. <laughs> they have cute signs. They look really good. So I also forgot to mention that we booked a selling tour today. So at 3 o'clock we're going to sell on the main lagoon here and see different cenotes and swimming spots. So I'll show you that as well. But right now we're looking for breakfast or brunch, lunch, whatever you call it. And uh, two blocks across the highway from where we're staying um, is a cool little coffee shop. So. We're going to check that out now and see how that goes. But yeah, on the side of the road, we found this cool coffee shop. It's right at the end of this neighborhood. Some really cool bougainvilleas growing. It's painted really cool too. Yeah, I like the just black and white. It's good. I got a New York style bagel with salmon and cream cheese. Eggs. <laughs> Simple. And Melina got huevos a la mexicana on and spinach on a bagel with um, avocados. Yeah. So we just finished our meal and I ended up buying a bag of beans and um, they're like, he sold them to me unofficially but they're from Veracruz and uh, they're really good, really kind of fruity and chocolatey so um, right now we're just going back to our place for a little bit um, and then we're going to head to the sailboat and do a sailboat tour around the lagoon and that starts around 3 and I think it's 3 or 4 hours long so that'll be really cool to see but we're walking back on this street and it's really cool. There's like other little hotels and like pizza shops, some cool murals. Really cool plants everywhere. Here's a pizza place. But it's really quiet. Everyone's been really nice so far. And yeah, it just looks, feels really nice here. This is like a smaller neighborhood off of the like main zone square where everyone usually stays. So it's like feels like you're more like part of the neighborhood over here. Yeah, it's just really friendly here and you can talk with the, we talked with the owner of the coffee shop for a little bit and he was really nice. So, and here's some houses, it's really cool. Dog enjoying the lawn over there. Yeah, tons of little dogs hanging out. <laughs> 
if all the cats come out at night. <laughs> got one leg up. Yeah, we got this cool little yellow place. They have these amazing plants just growing everywhere. <laughs> I love this colors with the plant like here it's really it's gorgeous this, it all makes me so happy I just feel like everything needs more color even if it's really simple it's nice there's a dog <laughs> coming to say hi hey, <laughs> This is really cool. They're um, apartments made out of shipping containers. And se renta por día, semana y mes. So you can rent them by the day or the week or the month. And they have ACs in them, but they're like the modern conversion of a shipping container. It's called TOH Apartments. And it's cool, even the door looks like a big shipping container door. We're coming out. It's one of the cenotes we have here in Bacala. This is the cenote Esmeralda. It's the biggest cenote about diameter. It has 500 meters from the from, from the longest point, 60 meters deep. Okay. We're going to visit the most emblematic places of Bacala at the north of, of the of the lagoon. Nearby the downtown, that it's Cenote Negro, Canal de los Piratas, and the Birds Island, okay? Or at least we can change the route, we can go to the south. For me, it's my uh, favorite place. It's more chill, less people, not too crowded, more nature, more quiet, the water is beautiful. So I don't know if you agree to change the route or you want to know the most come the nature. most popular places whatever you want I like nature yeah, yeah I nature yeah let's go yeah yeah even that we have the connection with the ocean we still fresh water that comes uh, most of this water comes from the cenotes uh, we have Shunja, and it's a small town but it has their lagoon and this lagoon is a huge cenote that pumps around 1200 liters per minute Shunja in maya means when it comes from the water the ha -ha in maya it's water everything uh, you heard ha. Uh, with ha, -ha. ha, -ha it's water Shul it's where it comes from like, um, no, it's so you like nature, like high school. Oh, okay. okay. It's around 14 or 18 minutes. Well, right now. So we're at our first stop on our sailing tour. Um, I don't even know what this is called, but it's really warm and the ground underneath is so like gooey and soft. Yeah, it feels like clay. But yeah, this watercolor is really cool. And these are mangroves over here and they have these things called stromatolites. stromatolites. I think I'm probably butchering it, but really cool organism that produces the most oxygen out of anything. So. 
really cool and there's like barely any boats on the lagoon. They're saying that they all, these are all mostly sailboats and that eventually they're only going to have electric engines on the lagoon, but it's really cool. So we just finished our um, lagoon sailboat tour, which was really cool. We sailed the seven color lagoon and we're walking back from Casa Arabe where they pick you up from the boat. And it was about an hour walk back to town and we found a cool little viewpoint that takes you out from the main road into the lagoon. So we're gonna check it out because the sun's kind of setting behind us, but the color looks really cool. And a lot of the spots next to the lagoon, you have to go through a like 
Lagoon Club or Beach Club Hotel. So this is like a free viewpoint you can check out. Public Pier. Public Pier, yeah. That's cool. Look at all these boats. It's cool to see these lily pads. Hey, you feel you always forget you're not near the ocean. This is all fresh water, so seeing lily pads is cool. That's where the pontoons come from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 in a fun way. 